one here, but I think it's wood and aluminum. Hmm, if I can get the wood off, it's... Someone changed the top or something. So I think no real tools. Huh. It's got bracing here. On the bottom here. I've never seen one like this before. Probably pretty dark. It's so heavy. You oh. should have a hammer in here. Let's we'll see it. Oh, it's right here. It's an aluminum frame actually. This one. One side out. It's an aluminum frame, that's a problem. Maybe I can twist it. Again, it's not gonna come. Okay. Okay, this is what I found inside the road here. It was actually a factory. Let's see if I can take it apart. If you got the pride part, I think this is the one here. One smaller, or the red one, I think. Hard to say. Might actually have a coating on there. Yeah, it's a plastic cap, I think. So I think it's plastic cap. Yeah. Hmm, not the red. Okay, that's the one I wanted. Let's see, that's the one. Almost thick as a metric. Stainless steel. Battery's almost dead.
Okay. Oh, she got some good wheat. Last stain of steel. Top off, maybe I could. That's how I like finding them, right? Find them side the road, bring them home, clean it. I was actually planning to cut it up just because it's too bulky. Okay. I'm not going to easy to work on it now. See the vice grips here. This has got the actual thing still in here. That's not the right one. That's definitely the right one. She has an end cap here too. Okay, almost done. Yeah. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to get that off here. It's going to come out. Star. I think the cap was just turning. I can't believe I just dropped this just like one foot or something in the plastic already broke that's how cheap this crap is main china crap I don't know why they just do something better that's the that's the area that's gonna get damaged when you drop it right doesn't make sense Curious on the weight. Nine point two pounds. The name plate here I want to take off. Okay, well that's clean, not too bad. It was easy. Okay, hold on. I got the radiator here. Hammer's a little too heavy, I should have had a little bit later one. Trying to move it so I can cut it. Do the thing. Do they make them? Are these things in uh, brass or are, are they copper? Like what is it? Hooped. Last time I used it, I think I wrecked it. Got a stainless steel or something got into it. Should have cut that like nothing. Hooped like that. Brass and brass and copper mixed. Most likely to be brass. Wouldn't get copper. Unless I cut too close. No, it's probably hmm, don't know. 
Anybody know? You come across this kind of stuff, guys? I think it's brass. It's copper and brass. Copper fins, brass center. Exactly what it is. You can see. This a heavy wrap. Oh. Well, it's okay because I'm trading for the bike. I put the bike in for 50 and no calls. So it should work out. Should be 50 bucks to scrap. I don't think. But Joe tried to say this is brand new. It's just old junk. I don't know if they would pay more, more than brass, probably not. I'll just count as brass for now. I don't think it's clean. It's one heavy rat, I'll tell you. 21 pounds. About three bucks a pound. That's 60 bucks. That's a $60 bill there, right there. Just this part. Let's see brass. That's a steel. Oh, that's steel too. The whole bottom was steel. It shouldn't be actually. Huh. Hmm. I don't know how they welded up there. Must have braised it or something. That's, it's like it's tightening actually that way. Key thing is to come off, anyways. It's valve. I'll have to clean it. Okay, now I have to get a big screwdriver. Let's try to pry this crap off. It's actually really heavy duty. It's got like a supporting bar there or something. See, that's the old school rads like this. You know, today now it's just crap. It's aluminum. Big bar. Hmm. I don't know how they welded it. I don't see it's raised. so heavy duty it's buckling every time it's coming
That's the problem, it's just uh, That's heavy. Wow, I can't even bend that steel. Let me bend. It's not heavy duty. something oh, God, it's... that was one hell of a piece sir that's her brass right there probably a couple pounds of brass at least Two point two pounds. I'm gonna put this one here now. It's got some pop rivets and stuff. Stuff is heavy duty stuff. It's like HMS. So heavy, heavy duty. One, one piece here. The best to get off. Let's try to ice up. May have to cut it out. I'm hoping I can snap it off, but Almost out. There she goes. Oh, it's another piece here. Okay, well, we'll get it.
it. That's all she wrote. Wow, how's the workout for sure? Nothing hidden. Nothing hidden. Okay, let's re reweigh this. Let's see what this weighs first. Five pounds, probably. Four and a half. Okay. So we know it's brass and copper. Twenty eight pounds. Wow. Over eighty dollars. Like almost eighty five dollars actually. Well, that's a lot of money for one little radiator. You've seen the, the metal pieces were like HMS, right? Solid, except this one here is steel, tin, but. Okay, well, got that done. Happy about that. So heavy steel. I'm kind of tempted to do an HMS run tomorrow with the uh, prices being so much higher. Okay, let's move on. Should come out, I don't understand why. What's wrong with it there? I don't know if they ever bug about this tape here. I should take it off, but. So, okay, so we're going to see, this came off the hot water tank, what we got today. So it's hot, I like hot water tanks, they always have trinkets and stuff. 1.8 pounds, um, there's actually almost as much metal or money worth as the whole tank. 1.8 pounds, that's probably... We'll say three dollars a pound. You know that's probably like um, I don't know, like five bucks. I'll say just five bucks alone here, which is not that bad. It's like red brass too. But I don't think I don't think they um they don't care. Let me cut this off here. 
Yeah, my scrap here, does, they just say it's all the same. Because everything gets mixed up in one huge pile. And then when it goes to the factory, it goes melted down. Actually, like copper bits here too. Dirty brass. Aluminum's here. Here, your light fixture. This came from Bradley. We're gonna go halfers on that material. I think he wants to make extra money. I mean, he's got a good job, but you know he's got a big truck payment. I guess payment for a truck is expensive. Get a new truck. cast recycle light bulb everything's way down there So there's little things here, little flaps here. Metal you have to just pry it out. But This is old sheet there. Some more screws here. Oh, they look really rusty. Awkward design. I will say this has to come around here somehow. Twist it off. Then screw it. The pliers probably.
aluminum here. Steel. Only aluminum, but bare nothing. It's a full strip out. Okay, let's see what this weighs. I'm missing a top piece actually. The top piece. I had it earlier. I'm stuck in another pile already. Two point seven uh, extruded basically, or not extruded, the old cast. So it's just almost three pounds. So with the top lid, it's over three pounds. So not too bad. Okay. What's under that uh, mat I had? I don't know what the stuff is. It just it's not from stripping. It's just the uh, mat is falling apart or something. Disintegrating. So we get. I have some mats in my car. I use under my carpet. I think I'm gonna use those. Cause I tried looking at mats and to buy any kind of decent mat, it's like a hundred bucks or more. So There's nothing like the mat I have in my car. It's, like, it's all mud. So. I'm sure uh, some dirt's for me, but not much. A little scraper. Is she, um, use a wire brush. Look at that, huh? Crazy melts dirt. Okay. Let me find out if the, how big the mats are exactly. I may have to rearrange a little bit here. Okay. Actually. With that. Number two. Grass. This is kind of like number one, and you know, do something different. That's not too bad. You know, I had a really big, heavy plate. Not sure where it went. If I could find that, I saw it last time. I thought behind the door, but I like to crunch stuff on my desk in front of me, not you know, on that little tiny thing. Especially you're just breaking little light bulbs, small things, right? Hmm. So last time on top of the table. This mat is garbage. I think it's the backing or something. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but I'm going to toss it. I'll toss it to garbage. Too much crap comes off it. But those mats, like I say, you can't even find those mats. And I saw mats that had one side was plastic, the other side was, was rubber. And they were like a hundred bucks. I couldn't believe it. Some of the prices is ridiculous. I had that ro rolling table. We used to be on top of this table here. 
sure, but I got lots, lots of brass here still. These are all more hardware. It's all brass. Oh, that's brass. That's brass here too. Two containers of brass. More. Four. Four containers of brass. Still. Oh. Maybe, maybe five. Huh. Potential five, five uh, containers here of brass. Easy 50, 60 pounds more brass, I would, think, I would say, for sure. Yeah, still don't have to that metal. Mystery. It was a thick, it was a, like half inch plate steel. Hmm. Yep, don't know. Anyways, we'll keep moving. Okay, I did actually find I won't say but maybe move this one here. When I'm doing pots and pans, that's still just a good just a good piece. Here. One of crunchy little tiny things. So I'm gonna move this one. This thing's like fifty pounds. I wonder what that weighs here. This is actually, it's not actually weight, counterweight. Oh, 80 pounds, 100 pounds maybe. 92 pounds. Imagine that, huh? It takes time before you get everything set up the way you like it, right? So kind of my my actual work here is here, like right in this area here. That's why I put this thing right here in this area here, the full access to work. So how would I do that? Maybe I can move this one over a little bit. Hmm. Ugh. I need two big ones. There. It's a little more practical, huh? Maybe I'll throw this other one here. That's more like an L. There it is. It's a little more, a little better. Yeah, if we have frying pans, I'll have one handy here, but 
I think it should be fine. You constantly sweeping here. Every time, every day. Once I finish something, I sweep. They always pull stuff out of here too. Okay, we're in a good position now. That's more like it. I feel better now. I got a big for pots and pans. I got my vice here. Okay. Okay, uh. Oh, look at this, huh? All these transistors are gold, plus the whole socket is gold. I'm gonna pull those off now. No point leaving them on there. The socket itself is gold. Gold leg socket also. So leave this commercial. Draw commercial. Communications commercial. Oops, some are soldered. Huh. There's probably tantalums here too. Huh. That's a weird batch. Let's find a container for that. Like good gold recovery. It's a solid gold. Look at that. Wow. Very good plating. This is stuff from the 70s, I think. Not recent. It's pretty old stuff. So I got a whole bunch here. I got it from a pickup from a friend. He's a radio, a radio guy. Yeah, here's some more. I'll definitely pull them all off if we get them all. Some of those these transistors could be a lot of a lot of gold in there. Okay, so we're gonna not to mention there could be other other metals here. This stuff is time consuming stuff. Should be out. What is What else holding it? Nothing. The LEDs actually have a gold bonding wire. LEDs. Wow, those transistors are nice. So that's aluminum here. Hmm. I don't know if it's stainless steel mixed in here. I almost think these have to come off. I have to see. These to come off, anyways, but just have a feeling. Oh, that's good. It comes off.
Best bet is probably just to pop those off. It's actually a couple of screws at the end here. And the battery died here, so I have to get the other GoPro. I think I got to take these off. They're stainless steel. I'm thinking, snap them or something. The problem with the mix stainless steel screws things up. This thing comes in handy. Ah, gold-legged IC chip here. It's all good stuff in this thing. Well, it's not gold-legged. The socket's gold-legged. The IC chip's not. Oh. Wow. Okay, little hammer. That's a board. Good gold fingers too. Lots of them here. Oh, I see. It's been up there. It's actually aluminum. It's not it's aluminum too. Yep. Well, go back in. But anyways, uh, so that's the boards here. 77. Third month, 1977. Wow, these are old actually. Really old. Mm. I'll take these off. It's actually a screw. I don't know if I can get that screw out. Doubts. Hmm. Yeah, they're actually uh, time consuming things. It's a really fine one. Like super fine. Nope. It's like super, super fine. Just don't have tools are here right now. Okay, well let's just do some easy ones. Like this one's easy.
I don't have a bit that small for the drill. It's all micro scrapping this stuff. A smaller hammer. This one here is not so hard on the wrist. It's only a little bit of tapping to do. This kind of stuff like if you start if you if you shred it the way it is <coughs> you might not recover everything completely it's a lot of stuff like some of the stuff you have to do by hand all those transistor sockets are all nice nice legs on them we have, what else do we have here Another one. Bonus. Not just having about twenty pounds of that stuff. We have a probably ounce, ounce of gold maybe. Oh, spider taking taking over there. Up there. I see chip here. If you start cleaning the stuff in the yard, you know, if I get rid of this pile here, then it's a lot less stuff in the yard and less milk carton. 1977, huh? Hmm. One looks pretty easy. No more transistors and sockets. Look at how nice that is. Wow. It's kind of mixed to have ceramics kind of mixed in there which should be separated but for now leave it So. 
doesn't make sense why that's going to come out. It's jammed, I guess. The screwdriver is actually too big. Okay, let me just keep moving on here. So, you know, it's too time consuming. Okay, you have a couple of uh, plugs here. That's got really good pins in there. Real, real good looking gold pins. Open apart, you can see it. So you have to kind of break the metal. The pin is right there. But it's a great looking pin. Look at that pin there. See that? Look at that quality there. So I got a few things from different pins I took apart. Even though switches are gold plated, gold plated switches in here. Uh, even these green ones, the green LEDs, you couldn't see the bond wires, the gold plating. So there's probably some uh, good stuff in this commercial. Well, it's commercial radios. Some stuff's in a commercial. I need those pliers to be better. These pliers. That plating is awesome. Pull these out for sure. See that? Beautiful. So, close to the brass. Okay, so these ones I couldn't get a a Torx type Allen key here to get these off here, and I can't can't really smash them off. So, leave them for now. We'll see what we got for weights. Uh, it's not definitely it's not for weight. It's for uh, quality. There's not much money here at all. Eight point eight pounds. Not that bad. I mean, it took took quite a while. Let's see what we have. So eight 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 point eight pounds. These are the boards here. Uh, lots of, everything's gold plated on here, like the switches, whatever there's on there. We got the spider there. So we got seven point six pounds commercial rated boards. You know, some of it might be tantalums. Uh, all the transistors are gold, either gold legs. So all the transistors are good. <coughs> gold fingers too they look pretty good so and then we have this here LEDs and we have these these are probably stainless or something mixed stainless I think and aluminum so it's dirty have to come off the board I'll keep the gold plated stuff here separate and I might find another container for the LEDs 
Okay, uh, and also got the transistors here. We go. These gold Lego transistors are beautiful. Look at that. Look at the gold on there. That's awesome stuff. Too bad there wasn't more. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.